Am I the a-hole for leaving my own wedding because my husband embarrassed me? Plus updates. Original post. I, female 27, and my husband, male 29, have been together for three years. In those three years, I have never have known him to be selfish. Occasionally immature, yes, but even that was rare. These problems arose when those stupid cake smashing videos got popular, and my husband thought they were hilarious. I've never thought they were funny, and he knows that. Yet, he was always showing me the videos of those poor wives getting the happiest days of their life, ruined by their a-hole partner for some cheap laughs. He also knows I have a history with cake smashing. The family does the cake smashing thing. I remember it was my 17th birthday, and I pleaded with my mom to not do it. She promised, and I trusted her. I had my hair and makeup done up all nice, and right as I blew out my candles, my mom pushed my head into the cake, and one of the decorations on the cake ended up slicing my forehead. Not enough to go to the hospital, but enough for some substantial bleeding. My birthday was ruined, and after that I wouldn't come out my room. My mom still calls me a brat for that. I told him if he ever did something like that to me, I'd leave him. He started laughing, but I was being serious, though he really was not taking me seriously. Now, I skipped to a few days ago when my wedding happened. Everything was perfect. I was happy. He was happy. I was excited for our new lives as newlyweds. I felt like a princess in my poofy white dress and done up hair with perfect makeup. All very expensive things I would like to mention. We get to the cake cutting part, and as I turn to him, he scoops up a huge chunk of our wedding cake and smashes it all over my face. Everything just seemed to go in slow motion for a few moments. He's just laughing at me, and then says, you should see your face, and continues to laugh. Other people in the crowd, mostly my family, are also laughing at me. Then I just started walking away. He realizes that I'm leaving and tries to catch up with me, and says I'm being extra. I push him away and order an Uber. As I got outside, most of the crowd is following me telling me to come back. I get into the Uber and drive away. I drove to our apartment and packed most of my things and went to stay at a hotel. I currently though I'm staying at a friend's house. My family this family has been blowing up my phone for days, saying I'm being childish, that my husband is a good man, and it was just a joke. My husband has been calling me non-stop telling me to please come home and that he wants to talk, that he's sorry and didn't think I'd get that emotional. This was supposed to be the happiest day of our lives, and he embarrassed me in front of everyone for some prank that he knew I hated. Not only that, he ruined a $500 cake. He ruined my makeup, my hair, and the top of my dress. The cake got all over, though I still do love him, but I'm wondering if I really was too hard on him. That seems to be everyone else's opinion. So am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments before reading the updates. Guy here, I've ended relationships for less. Shout out to the mom for also being a huge a-hole. Yeah, what the heck was with that? Calling her a brat? I'd be mad too. It wasn't a time or place for him to try and get laughs. Seriously, grow the heck up. I thought Cake Smash was meant for a one-year-old on their birthday, which I think is also stupid. Just eat the cake like a normal person. I'm not talking about smashing a one-year-old in the face with a cake. I'm saying the cake smash that a one-year-old does themselves, in my opinion, is also stupid. Why give a kid an entire cake just for them to throw it everywhere? Not the a-hole. This is a glimpse into the rest of your marriage. He completely disregarded what you specifically told him not to do. Annulment. Go and don't look back. He should have known better. He should have considered your feelings, especially on your wedding day. What an a-hole. I would never do something like that to my wife, especially something tied to the past that could be a trigger for her. He basically re-traumatized you on your wedding day. Screw that guy. You deserve better. What a crappy thing to do. It happened to me at a birthday party. Not my birthday or cake, but somehow I was the one that copped it in the face. Not only did it hurt, but I was so shocked that I started to cry and then left. Yes, it hurts. People think it's just a little mushy cake. Like, no, it hurts, especially if there are decorations. And some people don't even think about the skewers that hold up cakes that are multiple tiers or just really large cakes. Knew someone who once got a skewer to the eye from having their face smashed into their own birthday cake. Of course, that ended a party and sent birthday kiddo to the ER. Update. I decided to speak to him bright and early this morning. I'm leaving him. Some of you might be happy about that and some of you might not be. But I still decided to call him and get his reasoning for why he did what he did. 
He told me he just thought it was a funny prank and that if it was at the wedding on a happy day that he could change my mind. Plus, since it was a tradition in my family that I wasn't following, he thought that he could get points with my family. Then he told me he's sorry that I took it as a disrespect. I told him he shouldn't be saying that he's sorry that I took it that way. He should be apologizing for hurting me. Where is the I'm sorry? I told him he hasn't apologized with accountability once, and all his apologies have been backhanded. I also reminded him that I didn't have a good relationship with most of my family, nor my mother who he forced me to invite. I told him he knew I was already the black sheep of my family, and a verbal abuse and public humiliation I received by my mother for years really messed with me, and he knew that. Then he says this, Why should I have to apologize because he can't take a joke? I blew up. I told him, Are you serious? If it was me who hurt you to this degree, the first thing I'd do is apologize, while you can't even force yourself to be decent for a few seconds and just apologize to me. I also told him that he was trying to get in good with a family who mistreated me by public, humiliated me, and that is something that is unforgivable. Marriage means you stick by me, yet you showed you obviously did not. It's not about you ruining my dress or my hair, or even the cake. It's about how you knew how I felt about this and the trauma I had connected, and you didn't care. He then tried doubling down and saying it wasn't his fault for not apologizing, because my family was telling him how dramatic I was, and how I was hurting them by leaving the wedding for a joke. Then he said he loves me, and he doesn't want to break up over this nonsense, and that I should just come home. I told him I wasn't coming home and it wasn't even about the cake anymore. It's because I cannot be with a man who won't apologize when he's wrong and who gaslights their significant other into receiving the blame. He started cursing me out at this point, but after about a minute of hearing him scream at me, I hung up. I guess he started telling my family, because within half an hour my phone was blowing up again. The worst ones had to be from my mother and a sister. My mother was telling me I am going to end up alone because I can't take jokes, and I'll never be able to keep a man with my attitude. Even saying that my clock is running out fast, and when it did, no one will want me and I'll be alone. His sister was telling me that I'm a disgusting B-word for hurting his brother and wasting his time. That she wishes that he would have broken up with me two years ago when he first wanted to. So now I know that he wanted to break up with me. What I also know is that he was cheating on me for six months with his ex who wanted him back, but then she dropped him because he stayed with me. The thing is, I had a good relationship with his sister, and she knew he was cheating on me? I guess she put everything out on the table since I was leaving anyway. I blocked most of my family, and I blocked all of his family. I also blocked him and I'm getting an annulment. My friend said I could stay with her for a few months till I get back on my feet, and I told her I really appreciate it. So yeah, that's the end. I'm crying while typing this. I wasted three years on a man who never really cared about me. I've lost what little relationship I had with my family, and now I only have the few friends I have been blessed with. I'm going to have to pick up the rest of my stuff. I also told him before I blocked him, if he broke anything of mine, I would bring it to court. Thank you for all the kind words and encouragement. I'm gonna go sleep now since I haven't done so in 24 hours. The good news is she can have it annulled. To be honest, I would have asked the officiant not to send in the certificate. Most states require us to send them in within 48 hours or something like that. I do it immediately, like next day. So it's likely that wasn't an option. Please stop with a face cake BS. So freaking dumb. In what universe is that actually funny? I have never laughed at it, and it only ever makes me groan. So stop it. It was lame a hundred years ago, and it's lame now. As a fat guy, I feel offended that they'd waste cake. The most tasty and delicious of all things tasty and delicious. What the heck is wrong with people? The wedding cake in particular, somebody paid a lot of money for that cake only to have it ruined. As a guest, I'd be mad. Sometimes the cake is the best part of the reception. Second update. So my last post got taken down and I've gotten a lot of messages. I just wanted to update you all about a few things. I haven't gotten my stuff from my ex yet. I just haven't had the energy to because I'm still extremely upset, obviously. From the videos online, to the comments I received on my original post, to also the comments I looked at on repost of my post. It kind of made me think that there probably was a lot of red flags, and I was just used to being mistreated. So the bare minimum was enough for me. After speaking about it with my friend, she said that he definitely had a lot of red flags, and she even told me I should stay away from dating until I get some help. Because I was obviously not seeing the red flags right in front of me. I'm not going to go into it, but sometimes I'd have to cook second dinners for my ex because he didn't like everything I made. 
His mom apparently didn't get him used vegetables, so he won't eat them. We're making fun of my cramps and my period. That's some of what I was referring to when I said immature. Someone texted me saying if I was sure that he cheated on me. No, I am not sure. At the moment, it just felt like it made sense because of how horrible he was being. Though they made a good point. The sister very much well could have just been trying to kick me when I was down, since I was leaving anyway. I have no evidence, and I probably will never have evidence. I unblocked him to just tell him I was going to come over in a few days to get my stuff, and if he could just not be there and that I'd leave my keys. He said fine, and that was it. So he will not be there when I get the rest of my belongings. I will also bring a friend with me in case he does do something. I'm still not speaking to my family, and I think I'm just going to go no contact like people suggested. I saw a video from a woman speaking about me, and someone in the comments said I was groomed into this treatment, which is why he felt it was okay to do this. Maybe she's right. When I get my financials in order, I think I'll try therapy and wait a few years before attempting to date anyone. I also kept getting this question, how did the Uber come so quick? The wedding venue was in a city, in a building. Uber took 30 seconds to order and 3 minutes to get there. Plus, who was really going to stop me from getting into the car? My husband gave up, to be honest, pretty fast, once he saw me trying to get into the car. I thought it was weird, but I realize now, playing victim because he didn't get his way. Some of you may be saying how did you not realize you were being abused? I don't know, sometimes it just happens that way. My brain is kind of dead at this point. Again, thank you to literally everyone for all the sweet comments, and even people messaging me privately. I haven't responded to them all, but I will try since you took time out of your day to see if I was okay. I really appreciate that. I'm okay though, I feel lonely and depressed, but I have my friends supporting me so I'm not that alone. I'll be okay, and will get myself out of this hole. I realize this post is a bit too doom and gloom. This is such a sad story. Poor girl is so traumatized, she thought this horrible guy was worth marrying. The cake was inadvertently a gift, given it got her away from this abusive monster. Right? I feel like every relationship should have a don't press this shiny red button if you're not an a-hole moment before marriage. Which, from how the OP described things, just kind of seemed like. The stuff from her mom is so illuminating. No wonder she didn't see the red flags on this guy. She's been living with red flags her whole life. Exactly that. If that's all you've ever known, you think it's normal. I had to sit down when she said she probably accepted a bare minimum from her ex because of how she was raised. That hit so close to home. OP honestly deserves better. The husband is a really terrible person for treating OP the way he does. I understand cake smashing is fun for some, but I never really understood the popularity why cake smashing is a thing. I always found it to be kind of nonsense and a waste of good cake. Last story. Am I the a-hole for marrying before my older sister and ruining her life? I, female 24, has been in a relationship with my boyfriend, male 24, for three years now. We want to move in, but our orthodox parents refuse to allow us unless we get married. Since we had anyways planned to get married sometime in the future, we decided to indulge them and get married now itself. The wedding was an intimate affair with only close family. Reception was huge, but it was also a disaster. The reason is that I married before my older sister. I have an older sister, Anu, female 29. Our family was seeking alliances for her for almost three years now, but not matched up. And she is fine with this. But younger sister marrying before older one is almost unheard of here. The circumstances regarding my marriage was why my family didn't mind it. But at reception, all everyone talked about was how my sister was an old maid and who will marry her now. All because I couldn't wait for her to get married. Now even my closest family is blaming me for being selfish and getting married before my sister. Not the a-hole. It's not your fault your sister isn't married yet. Who will marry her now? Lol. Personally, I don't think people should be married before 30. You have no idea what you want in life until your late 20s. Big agree. I'm glad I didn't marry before 30. Because only recently after turning 30, I figured out what I want in my life. What kind of partner, what kind of life, career, etc. It's a big decision. And yeah, not the a-hole. Has nothing to do with your sister and you. Those people need to wipe their nose off the brown stuff they got from sticking it in other people's butt. Not the a-hole. Your family are the a-holes here. You are an adult. Why should your family dictate who you can or can't live with? Who cares what they say? Family seeking alliances to get your older sister married? Man, there is so much to unpack here. Does your sister want to get married? 
Your family needs to buzz off and leave you and your sister to your own lives. We live in a country where all your questions are accepted as fact. Living together without marriage was actually illegal until a decade ago. It is still not custom here, and we care because these are still our families and community we live in. We have to survive here for the next fifty years. Arranged marriage is very common here. Love marriage frowned upon, and yeah, my sister wants to get married. Her situation is kind of funny. She doesn't want to marry a friend, but she has to like the vibe of the person. But if she likes the vibe, she makes them her friend or automatic rejection. It's like a circle, and she is happy where she is at. No, neither my parents nor me are forcing her. Personally, I wish she would stay single. She is having a blast in her single life, and I would be sad to see her tie down, unless she finds her 